Today's Tech Hub tip is how we can go ahead and do model and sheet comparison in our web browser using BIM 360 Team. BIM 360 Team is a great application that's been around for some time. It allows us to view all sorts of different file formats, but really what's great about it is it's connected to our collaboration for Revit platform, which allows us to very quickly view versions that have changed throughout the process. Now, when our sheets or our models open up, one of the things you'll notice at the very top of the page is this option called version control. And if I click on that, you'll notice that the software actually shows me each one of the versions that have been published directly out of our collaboration for Revit platform. I do have the ability to promote previous versions if I wanna take a look at those. But in this case, what we're gonna do is just simply a version comparison. When you select this compare versions button, what it's gonna allow you to do is not only compare our 3D modeled items, but it's also going to allow us to compare 2D model items as well, as well as our 2D sheets. All I have to do is simply select the host version, so in this case, the most recent, and a previous version that I wanna look at. From there, it'll actually isolate the sheets and or views that have changed based on the A360 or BIM 360 team sync that has been set up. When I go ahead and find a sheet that I wanna do a compare and contrast with, I just simply select it and say compare. Once the sheet loads, the software is actually gonna go ahead and process the changes that have occurred between the two different versions. I can highlight those changes by going down here at the bottom and selecting my show differences pane. By selecting this, not only is it going to actually highlight specific either walls or other elements that have changed, but it's also gonna let me shift through those different changes both by discipline as well as by what's been added, removed, or modified. Again, because these aren't stagnant 2D PDFs, we also have the ability to specifically select walls and or other components and see exactly what item has changed. You'll even notice at the top here, it gives us a little bit of information specific to these two different items. The other thing that's nice is by selecting these, it actually allows you to go ahead and modify what's occurred between the two versions. So you'll notice here by switching between version two and version three, I can see that that door has been added in this location right here. Now, in addition to 2D elements being visible, we also have the ability to view the changes that have occurred in 3D. So again, it'll very quickly isolate and select those items. And you'll notice that if I hover over these different categories, as an example, hide architectural changes, it'll actually hide changes based off disciplines. So if I didn't want to hide, for instance, the structural or I wanted to view the structural elements, just by simply toggling between these two items, I can very quickly see those changes. Thanks for checking out this Autodesk Tech Hub tip. If you'd like to see more content like this, please make sure to follow us here on our YouTube page, or you can check us out over on Twitter or our Facebook Live page. Thank you very much. Appreciate the time.